this problem we're going to find the inverse of this function. So let's go ahead and go through it. So step one when you're finding the inverse is to replace your function with y. So you have y equals negative 3x minus 4. The second step when finding the inverse is to switch all of your x's and y's. So in this case we'll have x equals negative 3y minus 4. And the next step would be to solve for y. This is the step that is sometimes uh, a little bit more difficult. So what we'll do um, is we'll start by adding 4 to both sides. So plus 4 plus 4. This gives us x plus 4 equals negative 3y. All right, and we're almost there. We just have to divide by negative 3. So divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. That leaves us with y equals. Um, looks like we can write this as x plus 4 over negative 3. And you know what you can do here is you can write it like this if you want. Uh, x over negative 3 plus 4 over negative 3. And then... And then you can do this. This is nice. Watch. Negative one third times x. Same thing, right? And then minus four thirds. That's much better. And the very last step is to actually uh, rename our function as our inverse function. So using the proper notation. So it'd be f inverse of x. And that's equal to negative one third x minus four thirds. And so that would be the inverse function.